Hi guys, I'm making a pressure cooker or instant pot meatloaf. I have two pounds of ground chuck in this bowl here. I have two teaspoons of salt, and this is Himalayan pink salt. I have one teaspoon of black pepper. I have a teaspoon of garlic powder, a half a teaspoon of onion powder, a fourth teaspoon of parsley, a fourth teaspoon of dried thyme, over here, I have a half a cup of breadcrumbs, three tablespoons of Worcestershire sauce, two eggs slightly beaten, two tablespoons of ketchup, a fourth cup of brown sugar, and a half a cup of ketchup. This here, the brown sugar and the ketchup's for the glaze. So I'm just going to get this out of the picture. Just going to add that, and I'm going to mix. And I'm going to cook this for approximately... 16 minutes on high pressure and I'm going to do um, a 10 minute release normal release I'm adding a half a cup of water to the bottom of my pressure cooker and I'm putting the um, metal trivet in the bottom so there we go there's our hamburger we're going to add our dry seasonings and our dry breadcrumbs. We're going to mix this and we're going to add the ketchup and the eggs. Going to add the eggs. We're going to add the Worcestershire. And I'm going to do the ketchup off camera. I'm going to bring you back after I mix this. Okay, we've got this all mixed. I'm going to get it into these little tiny pans. I'm going to do three. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two in the bottom of my pressure cooker and I'm going to take the other one and stack it up. I'm going to cover them with foil. So I'm going to get this into my pan and I'll bring you back. Okay, welcome back. I got three of them all ready. I'm just going to top them with this ketchup and brown sugar glaze. Just going to put a couple of spoonfuls down over each one and then I'm going to cover it with foil because I don't want no liquid getting into the meatloaf. I'm still new to this pressure um, cooking. I'm loving it, but I am still new, so I'm just going to cover it with foil and get them stacked up. And I'm also, at when I bring this out, I am going to get it underneath the broiler for like two to three minutes just to make it nice and crisp on the top. So I got these all covered, and I got exactly three little ones. If you had a container for the pressure cooker, that would be great. I don't have one, only the, the um, little metal trivet that comes with it. So I'm going to get these wrapped. I'll do one in front of you, and the other ones I'll do off camera. So I'm just going to form it over it and make sure it's completely sealed and then I'm going to get them in there and I'll show you that I'm doing it. I'm just going to set them right down. There's one. And I'm going to get the rest in and I'll show you how it looks. Okay, this is how it looks. I've got two here and I've got one going over the top. And I have my cup of water down in. So what I want to do is I want to put this on and I want to lock it and then I want it to take the pressure seal and have it not open we want it closed and then we are gonna pressure cook this for 16 minutes so um, I'm gonna go down here down here actually I'm just gonna go high for 16 and we're gonna start and then I'll bring you back we got three minutes in counting and we are going to release the pressure because I've been waiting for a while I got potatoes that I pressure cooked earlier that I wrapped with butter and foil I'm gonna take the meatloaf and I'm basically gonna put it in the oven and I'm gonna broil it for like five minutes and then I'm gonna bring it bring you back and show you what it looks like but I will show you when this release pressure just took them out of the pressure cooker released the pressure um, 
manually and now these are going into the broiler on high for about five minutes just to just to firm it up I guess because they look perfect they're steaming they're hot they smell delicious so we'll bring you back okay these only needed a few minutes and as you can tell you can see that right there and right there it it is perfect so it went in for about three minutes in the broiler I kept the oven door open just a jar so anyways this is ready for us to serve up and I'm gonna show you what I'm serving it with I'm serving it with the crock pot or pressure cooker or instant pot baked potatoes and these are gonna be fabulous because they're nice and they got a little bit of butter on them salt and pepper and I don't even need to reseason. So this is perfect meal. I can't wait to try it. Talk to you guys later. Bye-bye.